Hello everyone, John Frausto with Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to do an analysis of Roger Federer's kick serve. I'm going to show you some of the checkpoints on the serve and what truly makes it so good. He, he's able to place it. He imparts a lot of RPMs on the ball. And I think mentally, he just knows that when he makes his second serve, he's going to win the point. Enjoy the video. All right, let's go ahead and look at uh, some of the checkpoints on this serve and what truly makes it so, so good. Uh, we actually shot this video in Cincinnati in 2014 at 240 frames per, se per second. So we've got a lot of um, details here that we can see. I want to share those with you. So let's go ahead and look at the toss on Federer's second serve or the kick serve specifically. One thing that he does that's truly unique is Notice how his tossing arm is actually going to be parallel with the baseline. See that? So, I mean, he's right here, right along the baseline as he tosses. I don't have a problem with this. Actually, I kind of like it because what it does is by getting in this position, notice how his hips and shoulders are actually going to turn to the target. I like this position here. Notice that because now he's going to get that. He's going to get the better coiling and able to go up into the ball and generate a lot more racket head speed because of it. A lot of beginner intermediate players, they just, you know, they're going to point this left shoulder to the net. Federer actually turns and shows his shoulder blades to the net. So great position. I'd work on that if, if, if you're not doing it already. But there's the toss. Usually we'll release the toss right around the top of like at the forehead at the eye level and that's something that Federer is doing here and then let's look at the hitting arm and the racket head notice how he's palmed down here see how that rat those racket strings are are facing to the ground another signature position I love the fact that he does it this way too because notice how he airs out this armpit so it's real free great for timing great for rhythm Let's look at that trophy pose. Love this position here when he gets into the trophy pose. Because notice here how he's on his tiptoes. You need tremendous balance to do this, to get into this position. So it takes a lot, a lot of reps. But if you're not getting up on those tiptoes like this, you know, on the balls of your feet and having those heels come off the ground, you don't want to be growing roots in this position. Practice it. His racket head is up. Notice his tossing arm. It's past vertical, right? Here's vertical. He actually gets it into this position, so he gets a tighter coil here, which will allow for more power when he unwinds and goes up into the ball. Hips and shoulders are turned to the net. Great position. This is going to set the racket edge up so that he can go up and across the ball for this kick serve by turning like this. All right, let's go ahead and look at the racket drop. There it is. So notice how from this position, he's going to exchange. The non-hitting arm is actually going to start tucking in and the racket head will drop as he launches up into the, up into the ball. Perfect position here. Now he's starting to launch. He's coming off the ground. And he's going to take this edge of the racket from this position. And he is going to throw it up and to the ball. It's not a guided stroke. He's actually throwing it, right? Almost think, think like he's going to take this racket and he's going to throw it right over this fence. I mean, that's kind of the feel when I'm hitting my kick serve. I feel like I'm going to take that edge and I just throw it up and over that fence. Practice that. If you have an old racket, practice on throwing that edge or that, that edge and that racket, maybe like an old wooden racket, or throw it up and over that fence. It's going to help your second serve tremendously. Here it is. He's taking that edge. He's going to take it right to that ball and throw it. Look at contact. 
Look at the great extension here. And look at how the arm and the racket are one, right? They all line up in this position. Don't forget, remember how his hips and shoulders return to the net? Now look at how his hips and shoulders are facing the fence. But he doesn't open up completely on this. He turns sideways, so that way he doesn't spoil the contact point and going up and across the ball. If he were to open, flatten the ball out, but by staying sideways, he can throw that racket up and across the backside of that ball. It almost feels like he's taking off the back third of the tennis ball. He's going to slice that back third off and try to impart that, that top spin on the ball. You know, we've talked to in the past, like, you know, you got to hit up on the ball. I mean, I, you, he's definitely going up to the ball, but look at the trajectory of the ball after he hits. Notice how it's going to be right here, watch. So we think that we're actually hitting up, but by covering the ball, you can see here how the racket tip is slightly in front of the throat of the racket. You can see that, but notice the, the trajectory of the ball, how it's going down into the court, right? So he is hitting up, but by inverting that racket face on contact, the ball will go down into the court. All right, once again, let's look at the launch. I mean, as good as anybody coming off that ground, he really does honor this position with the launch. Hips and shoulders will start opening up here. And then one of my biggest pet peeves on when people are serving is they are not landing in that court. Notice how Federer, uh, even on his second serve, is finding, is finding that ball in, out in the court and he's landing on that left foot. And then notice how the right leg here counterbalances and goes out signature position with a lot of the pros. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please leave comments below if you haven't yet. Hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the uh, notification bell to get uh, updates on future videos. Thank you so much for watching.